What up guys, Suitmelt983 here, here to bring you another album review and this time we've got some really low tuned, very dark and quite blackened um, stuff for you to check out today and this one who is setting the, setting the bar very high for album of the year in 2021. But yeah, I'm going to be reviewing the new album from the band Humanity's Last Breath in town Velde, I believe how it's pronounced. This is going to be released on February 12th, if I'm not mistaken, through Unique Leader Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with Humanity's Last Breath, they are a progressive deathcore band hailing from Sweden. And I first got introduced to this band quite a while back with their self-titled album, which was their second full-length album. And I was a massive, massive fan of that release. And the EP Detester, which came out after that, was just stupidly good like stupidly good and then the band announced that they were signing to Unique Leader Records and they brought out their third installment entitled Abyssal which is this one and it made me honourable mentions of that year back in uh, 2019 and to be honest I've listened to it so much more than a lot of releases on that list because this album in my opinion is the next evolutionary step for Deathcore and what it can create and what, um, just the next evolutionary step, should we just say, was on this album. And it just made us um, kind of scared to what was going to come next for Humanity's Last Breath, especially back in 2020 last year when they dropped a new single entitled Earthless. Now, to me anyway, along with, um, I mentioned it in my top albums, Spirit Boxes, Holy Roller, Earthless was another one of my tracks that I jammed a lot last year and wow that track just it felt like they were already taking the next step for the bands like Abyssal I was still it was still pretty fresh in my mind with it being I mean like a, a only been out a year at that point it still felt pretty fresh so for them to drop another single on top of that I was just like yeah, you are not stopping here, yeah. and listen to that a lot, and then they started to tease more material, um, uh, I believe they released the last track on this album, which is called uh, Vitring, I believe how it's pronounced, uh, I'm no good at pronunciation, uh, which was an ev a just as low tune, just as messed up feeling track as um, Earthless, and it made us quite terrified when watching the video, because it was all like about drug abuse and stuff like that, but it felt messed up, like just watching the visuals and the music itself was pretty messed up with how um, incredibly dark and dismal, but yet gloomy sense to it. And I was like, what the fuck is Humanity's Last Breath like building up to here? And then um, not too long after that single was released, I got the promo from Unique Leader and wow, I jumped on this so quickly and yeah, I've been listening to it a lot. So we're going to break down this album right now. So it's 12 tracks and runs around 51 minutes in length. And what can I say? Humanity's Last Breath have done, have done the unthinkable and pushed an envelope that just... In, the evolutionary step in Deathcore that was going on about with Abyssal has come forth on this album and it's gone even lower tune, but it's taken on um, a more darker, more blackened sort of sense to this. Uh, the overall atmosphere of this album is very dark and very gloomy sound, but it is still very atmospheric. There was some atmospheric elements on Abyssal that um, really made it stand out a lot more. It wasn't just another low tune band, but in my opinion, these have taken the next evolutionary step when it comes to low tune and stuff like Meshuggah did back in the day like these are taking that to a new level if you ask me like this is some of the most wretched sound and low guitar I think I've ever heard in my fucking life like the low tune is like it, it literally sounds like just a distorted bass on there but it's very uniquely um executed like it's executed for effect and uh, to it, when it needs to be like it and when it wants to surprise you with how low it can go like when those notes come in like in particular on earthless for example and uh vittering what i was on about just the way that just that low just single note open um 
not hitting, just executes just perfectly. And when you hear those low guitars, you, you literally pull the sting face because you don't know what's happening. Is that a bass? Is it is it just a stupidly tuned guitar? Maybe it's even both, but Humani's Last Breath, use it in and make it sound um, not just, f um, you know, just just bare and just not executing in any way. It is executed with precision and it's uh, well endowed into the songwriting on this album. And I feel like when you listen to this album, this is an, an actual experience from beginning to end because... There is atmosphere drenched over this entire record. There is low tune heaviness. There's grit. There's grooves. There's breakdowns. But there's even um, elements that that take you by surprise with the heaviness and the groove because it's not just all about just hitting those open notes. There is a lot more intricacy on this album and particular work on here. The drums. The drum work is absolutely incredible. The grooves are there, the blast beats are just air fucking tight and they sound so crisp on this record. Like, we'll get to the guitars about that in a second because I feel like the drums definitely have a sense of um, thickness to it that really complements the guitars and the mix. Like, especially on the blast beating section, giving it that real black metal sort of feel to it. But then when it goes into the groove and the pound and drum, like as if breakdowns and hard hitting stuff on this record, it really pounds you into the fucking ground, man. It's just, and I love, um, I love bands that it executes like a slow drum beat over a fast guitar, or vice versa, a fast um, um, drum beat over a slow guitar. I think it works so well and just becomes a, a unique specimen on a record. And this one is full of them, and it really. Took us by surprise how well it was executed. Absolutely incredible, incredible stuff. And that guitar work, man, like as I said, for it being as low tuned as it, uh, or low sound as it is, there is no um, um, sense of like, um, what's the word? Like, there's no let up in the guitar tone overall. Like, it sounds really crisp, very thick sounding when it needs to be, and very. Um, um, you don't lose any sense when it gets lower. You don't lose any sense when it goes into like a, a normal sort of riff writing. But it does execute incredible, especially with those like ambient tremolo pick um, moments that are across this entire album. It really captivates you. It really gives that sense of bleakness and darkness that really takes over you. And especially when you're listening to this album um, either in a pair of good speakers or um, in like a surround sound environment it really overtakes you and it feels quite creepy to listen to but man alive it sounds fucking phenomenal if you ask me and then we move on to the vocal work and this is when i was talking that these guys are so ahead of the curve like those uh, low tune and blackne uh, blackness in the, the songwriting and stuff like that is one thing. But these vocals are just absolutely soul crushingly menacing to listen to. Like those have those lows have so much fucking power behind them. Like and the articulation in those lows just beg believe like they come across with so much power. It is just intimidating it really feels intimidating to listen to when it comes to the vocal performance on this but then there's these um breaks throughout the album that really have um the more mid-range sort of like as if metalcore sort of scream which really um kind of breaks it up in a way like if like it's not 100% just low vocals all the time. When those um, mid-range sort of screams come in, they are just dabbled on there, like sprinkled on there for good measure. And one thing I really didn't expect at all from this um, album, but I'm so glad they're on there because it just makes it just all that more wow, is those half-scream vocals. Like the the... They're executed in a lot of ways, like, um, with the low vocal, so it's like an underlayer behind it. 
or um, just giving it that little bit of a push from behind, giving it that more atmosphere. And man alive, does that just shake you to your fucking core, man. Like this, that experience when those bits come in are just beggars belief, man. Like absolutely adore listening to this album from beginning to end, from the overall creepy atmosphere to those stupidly low-tuned guitars that just feel disgusting to listen to in the best possible way man like absolutely incredible amazing drum work and production the production sounds absolutely fucking incredible it's thick it's crispy but it still feels really dark and dismal and the way the effects on the guitars work it just complements each track in an absolute incredible way and the vocal performance throughout this entire record is just something to behold man like absolutely incredible i actually think this might be my new favorite humanity's last breath uh release like i absolutely loved abyssal and uh detesto was probably my favorite one uh until abyssal came out now they've trumped it again with this album velde it's just absolutely incredible there's a lot of standout songs i'm just going to grab my phone because um i don't want to stare over at the screen and be like like that. But anyway, um, definitely tracks Earthless and uh, Vittering, the um, laid off singles that I was talking about. Um, I would definitely say um, Tide, another single that they released, which, man alive, that is just an absolute menacing song. Absolutely incredible. Um, what was the other one? Uh, Hadian. Hadian, I think it is, the seventh track. Another absolutely incredible one. Sirens. Um, Glutton, which is the second track after the intro, absolutely incredible. Like this, like there are so many standouts on this album. Like it's just absolutely incredible to listen to. It is definitely a deathcore game changer, if you ask me. And in my opinion, like if you look at it as a whole, it could probably be a game changer for the music industry in general because they did they blew blew up with Abyssal. And I think this album is definitely going to blow them up even more. And if you if you don't dig this album when it drops on February 12th, there is something wrong with you. Because this is fucking incredible. It's blackened, it's grim, it's low, it's filthy, and it's just menacingly powerful. Powerful and heavy. I said in my uh, review, or my little review for... Um, uh, Abyssal on my top albums video that year that it's not a heavy record I take that back because these two records are absolutely incredibly heavy but this one it takes the heaviness to another level but it takes the songwriting to another level absolutely incredible for an overall score though I'm going to give this a solid 9 out of 10 absolutely incredible and a great start of the year for Unique Leader Records and I've got a couple more releases lined up that I'm going to be reviewing I know they've announced them um, Corpse and uh, Bone Craver, I think it is, uh, ex Cannibal Grandpa, and Bound in Fear's new EP. So I'm really looking forward to reviewing all those on this channel. Um, just keep an eye out, make sure to subscribe, like, and all that shit. More videos are coming soon. I'm going to try and get back into me reviewing again, like on the constant if I can. So yeah, I'll see you until the next video. And remember, stay metal, and I'll see you later. And Happy New Year, by the way.